Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to be back. Amen. Tonight, to do some strategic warfare prayers. Amen. Strategic warfare prayers. What what is strategic? Well, strategic is about planning. Before we go into war, we should plan. Amen. We should have. Our plans put together, how we going to pray so that we can have constant victory over our enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So let me pray before I get started. And we're just going to go in and do some serious warfare. Amen. By speaking the word of God and speaking the truth. So Heavenly Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. We thank you, Abba Father, that you are the Lord of our salvation. Yay, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are king. (laughs) You are king. You are our Lord, our Savior. And Lord, we just thank you right now for the midnight hour. We, We thank you for the midnight hour as we command the midnight hour as we enter in. And exalt your name. Because you are our Jehovah God. You are our banner Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we praise you Lord. We bless you Lord. We exalt thee Lord. And we thank you Lord. We thank you for. The many promises you have put in our lives. Amen. But we refuse to be defeated. Amen. So whoever you are, wherever you are, begin to pray and repent. Cleanse yourself with the word of God. Sanctify yourself with the blood of Jesus. Repent. And we're going to get into some warfare. Amen. Amen. Hi, welcome back to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back. I'm in to release the word of God, to teach you how to pray with the word. I mean, how to be strategic. We must plan. And some of the, some of the prayers that I have already done, I mean, are very strategic. It's aiming at a specific issue, a problem that any of you can listen to and take a prayer point and apply that prayer point to that area of your life. Amen. But it's up to you how you want to pray. It's up to you how you want to seek the will of God for your life and for those who contends with you in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I just got out of intercession. And my intercession was for the young children, for the young adults. And um, just allowing the Holy Spirit to minister to me through worship and intercession. And sometimes we don't have to always be strategic. We could be sloppy. and But not sloppy in a bad way, but sloppy in a good way. Because it's by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Where you begin to worship. And you will be, you will begin to just yield yourself to the presence of God and begin to speak life into that situation that looks hopeless. And I'm quite sure many of you have had or may be in a situation that appears to be hopeless. But I'm here to tell you there's a God named Jehovah, the great God. The God of Israel, the great I am, who is able to change your situation if you only have faith and believe and confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because you have to remind Satan that you are saved. You have to remind him that you made that confession. And when you remind him, you are activating the power and the authority that God has given you. Amen. According to the book of Luke 10, 19. So we're going to get into some scriptures and I'm going to give you the scriptures so you guys could go back and review them. But I just want to review, but I just want to do a quick highlight with you. 
why why we're doing warfare prayers amen these are simple prayers you know la, 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 la. i can't even do them <laughs> before i can get into those simple prayers um, i might want to just go straight into warfare but there's certain prayers that's not going to knock the devil out there's certain prayers that's not going to put those demons under arrest you have to pray prayers of victory Amen. Because you are victorious. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so it's good to pray prayers that's going to bring you your miracles. That's going to bring you your deliverance. That's going to bring you salvation, breakthrough, automatic turnaround. Amen. It's going to bring you so much. Amen. And you're going to rejoice. Amen. Just like when God's people went into the war and when they got through worshiping, first they went on the fast and they cried out to Abba Father. They prayed, they fast, and they worship. And they were able to overcome and defeat the enemy that was pursuing them. Amen. But there were some things they had to do to get into place. Some strategic planning amen so the scripture that we're going to read tonight to help you to understand why you have to pray with the word of god it's so important to know the word and abide in the word for great is he that is in you than he that is in the word amen so god wants us to pray in spirit and in truth. And the word says in first Peter, Peter chapter five, verse eight, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Amen. Now, if you look at this specific scripture, it says that we are to be sober. We are to be vigilant. So we must always be alert and ready to do what? To fight our adversary. Amen. We have to be sober. We have to be vigilant. There's no other way we can fight Satan. We cannot have anxiety, depression, stress, worrying about things we can't change. We can't be equipped like that when praying, being emotionally upset, having a a, a mental breakdown. No, the word of God tells us that we are to be sober and vigilant because our enemy, Satan, he is a devil. He is a roaring lion and he walks about seeking Looking who he can devour. And the word devour means eat and eat and eat our flesh and drink our blood. Amen. We have to know who Satan is and recognize the characteristics of Satan. Amen. The word of God says in the book of Revelations, Revelations chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice you heavens and you that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he have but a short time. Amen. That's what the word of God is saying. The God, the word is telling us. Therefore, rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Woe unto us. Amen. Because Satan is here, and he's coming. And he's coming to kill. He's coming to destroy. Not just in the earth, but in the ocean too. And he knows he's coming because he knows his time is short. He has a short time. Amen. But we have to be vigilant. We have to be sober. Amen. And the dragon, verse 17, Revelations 12, verse 17. And the dragon was angry with the woman and went to make war with the raiment of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So who is Satan coming for? He's coming for us. 
the ones that keeps the word of God. Amen. Those who keeps his commandments and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So you're already a, a target. We are already a target. We are already on the hit list. Amen. And we must learn how to pray. And pray strategically. And not and not only to cry out to God. Amen. But to know that he has already delivered us. Amen. He has already equipped us. He has already given us power and authority. But we must learn how to use the word of God. And be precise when we are praying. And be strategic when we are praying. So that we can have that breakthrough. So we can have that deliverance. So that we will be able to bind every evil spirit amen we will be able to bind those spirits that operates not just in the kingdom of darkness but also that those that infiltrated the church with witchcraft amen with rebelling and attitudes with false prophecies and false teaching Amen. So we must learn how to bind them in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to break their powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Break the power of every word they have spoken in the church. People need to wake up and wake up and hear the word of God and know the word of God and know when truth is being spoken. But the enemy has infiltrated the church because many of you are asleep. And the only way you're going to overcome, you have to overcome by the word of your testimonies. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we praise God in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for the atonement of the blood of Jesus. We thank God that tonight you're going to be strategic for you and yourself and your household, your family, your children. You're going to learn how to speak God's word in season and out of season. You're going to learn how to be victorious at all times. Amen. And learn how to pray from the place where the Holy Spirit himself do wells because we have to acknowledge we cannot do nothing without the presence of God we can't do nothing without the Holy Spirit we have to have the Holy Spirit when we are praying but most of all we must be steadfast we must be steadfast before the living God and be sober and vigilant amen and know that Satan is a roaring lion know that he's coming to devour because he's aiming at you because he wants the word of god out of you he's aiming at you because he wants jesus christ to be rooted up out of your life but you got to remain strong man of god over your household you got to seek ye first the kingdom of god constantly and consistently and pray over your household And bind every demonic activity in your household. And decree and declare the power of the blood of Jesus over your home. And over every area that contends with you in the mighty name of Jesus. And there's many women out there that may not have a husband. And you have to stand in the place of a husband. And begin to speak the word of God over your household. But don't forget, Jesus is Lord. Don't forget he is our king. He is our deliverer. He is our breaker anointing. Amen. And many of you have the ability to release the anointing in your life over any issue that contends with you. But you got to be strategic and you got to know how to plan in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, Lord, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that you have given us the ability to bind every evil spirit. We thank you, Lord, that not only do we have the ability, but we have the right to exercise the power right now. That's right. The power that you have given us, according to Luke 10, 19, the power to break every spirit of opposition, every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of wizardry, warlock witch doctor anything that is not from the kingdom of god he has given us power he's given you power to step upon scorpions to trample them under your foot in the mighty name of jesus yay god we just bless your name right now god we thank you lord in the mighty name of jesus we thank you god that every word curse that has been spoken against you 
man and woman of God, whatever curse that has been spoken against your lives, against your children, against your ministries, you have power and authority to speak the word of God over that curse. And you can return it back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I want to share a testimony with you. And after that, we're just going to let the Holy Spirit lead. Amen. Quick 15 minute teaching with some prayer points. Amen. Now I'm going to give you a testimony. It's important that I share this testimony with you. Amen. So that you can see how God moves in my life. Because you need to know that I'm not just a woman that's out here talking the word of God and not living the word of God. I live what I preach. Amen. It's important for my children to inherit my legacy and they can live this life amen and live this life be free of bondage from the power of darkness but they must stay in the presence of god so a few weeks ago going on into this testimony now a few weeks ago i had an altercation with a particular person and this person had texted this back to me and this is what they said I truly believe that your lies about who and how you are will be exposed to your health. Being struck with a disease that will confirm the lies you have hidden behind for years. Now this person sent me this and I I didn't rally. I didn't didn't even get back into response with that person. I just immediately blocked that person completely out of my life via text, email, you name it. They blocked. Because for someone to speak that type of curse over me lets me know they are in a very bad place right now. And that bad place is called unforgiveness. And when a person has unforgiveness towards you, it doesn't mean you have to stay in the place where they want you to be. It doesn't mean that you have to stay in bondage because they are in bondage. I have already forgiven that person. And I also ask Abba Father to forgive me if I had done anything to open the door for that person to come in and speak to me the way they did. Spoke to me the way they had spoke to me. Amen. And I began to break that curse off my life in the name of Jesus break off that curse of sickness disease but what I wanted to do I wanted to reverse the curse back so I'm giving you a little wisdom on this but because this person can has contended with me for multiple years there's seed involved and if I had to reverse the curse that seed would have that curse would have fell upon the next generation and I can't have that I don't know about you but I can't have that and so I just went to the father and prayed and said father forgive forgive me and I specifically said father forgive me and I forgive them and I release them out of the hand of the enemy And I break and renounce all their word curses off my life in the mighty name of Jesus. That those words will not fall upon my children's children's head. I render them powerless right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you because many of times we speak curses over people rather than speaking blessings. And not realizing that the curse that is sent out is sent with a cause. And when that curse has not accomplished what it has done, it always go back to the person who released the curse. Amen. But I made sure that curse would not affect my generation. I hope this is making sense to whoever that needs to hear this. Don't be so quick to release curses. Because the word of God say, bless them that curse you. For it's like heaping hot coals on top of their head. So obey the father. Do what the father says to do. And submit to the will of the father. 
and everything else will work out. But don't stand there and argue. Don't stand there and allow Satan legal ground in your life by being rebellious and disobedient. Because it's up to you just as well as it was up to me to speak God's word, to speak his promises. Amen. To obey him and trust him no matter what. Yes, my I was hurt. Yes, I was I was hurt. I didn't cry. I didn't do any of that. I positioned myself in prayer and I had to get strategic and know how to pray and cover myself and cover those who contends with me with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. But most of all, I had to pray that those words would not fall on my seeds, on my sons and their children's children. Those words are powerless. And I'm just sharing that as a testimony because I believe somebody needs to hear that because that's not something that I generally do, but I will tonight in this midnight hour. Amen. So I pray that God will arise for you. I pray that you will have double portion of breakthrough. I pray that the grace of God will be your help. Amen. I pray that he will be your help and he will be your standby in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you will go forward just like the children of Israel. They had to keep going forward. Even though their enemies were pursuing them, they had to keep going forward. Even though they were crying and complaining about we could have stayed in Egypt, they still had to keep going forward. For the breakthrough to happen in your life, man of God, for the breakthrough that has to happen in your life, woman of God, you have to keep going forward. You cannot go backwards. Amen. So God will make a way out of no way because he is God. Amen. He is Jehovah God. He is the God of Abraham. He is the God of Isaac and Jacob, and he is the God of Jacqueline King. And if you make him your Lord and Savior today, he will be your God too. According to Romans chapter 10, verse 10. Believe and trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Amen. And God will break you free. Just like he broke me free. He brought me free from many things in my life. And he's continuing to break me free from the assignments of the enemy. And that's why I believe in prayer. That's why I believe in praying for the children, for the young adults, for marriages, for families, for ministries. I believe in praying according to the will of the Father and the prompting of the Holy Spirit. So I hope this message will help you and I hope it will bless you. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, Prophetic Utterance. May God be with you. May he be your help. Because he sure is helping me. Amen. Amen. of God.